When we first learned to ride, the easiest, safest and most stable way to ride is with the arch of our foot on the foot peg. The advantages of this are it uses the least energy, it's the most comfortable position when learning, you can access the gear shift easily and likewise it's easy to operate the rear brake. But if you stick with this foot peg positioning, it will make things more difficult and possibly dangerous as you get into more advanced riding and techniques. Here is why you should learn to also ride on the balls of your feet. First, you get extra suspension and bounce when weighting and de-weighting your bike. Try jumping up and down on your heels. Now try jumping on the balls of your feet. The same principle applies on your bike. You will get less jarring from jumps and rough terrain. Plus, you'll be able to jump your bike across gaps and up bigger obstacles. Two. Using the balls of your feet moves your body further back on the bike, which gives you more stability. This is especially useful for taller riders. Three, it's safer. There is a tendency to point your toes down or to the side when you use the arches of your feet. So your boots can get snagged and twist your ankle or leg quite badly. Four, you'll get more wear out of your boot soles, a small but handy advantage. However, riding on the balls of your feet does require more work. You will need to shift your foot forward every time you need to use or cover the rear brake. And you'll need to do the same thing with the gear shift lever. Although, once you adapt, you'll find it actually doesn't take extra effort. When you ride on the arches of your feet, you find you need to lift your entire leg up to change down a gear, instead of just moving your leg forward. Let's have a look at how top riders like Graham Jarvis, Chris Birch and Reuben Chadwick use these different foot peg positions for various techniques. Hill climbs work particularly well when you ride on the balls of your feet. There's usually no need to cover the rear brake and you'll get extra traction because your ankles are flexing and therefore acting as extra suspension. At times you can see riders mixing it up. The left foot is back on the foot peg, but the right foot has moved forward to cover the rear brake. This mixing and matching can be handy on steep downhills, where you want to get your body to the rear of the bike, but still use the rear brake too. As with so many of these techniques, you'll need to experiment to see what works for you. Learning to ride on the balls of your feet can be very weird at first, but it's always handy to have a wide range of tools in your tool bag of riding techniques. We'll keep this space here in case anybody's got extra tips for foot peg positioning to add.